Recently, I have found a few issues with my survival create work. Mainly, I've been starting to experiencing lag with the ever-growing amount of factories. But not only that, this steam engine powers over half of my world and it's not cutting it. So today, I want to build a giant steam power plant. And speaking of the devil, it's already turned off. Yeah, I really need to get a new steam engine rocking in this world. Also, do you like my cat? Gonna need some iron plates here, turning these into 36 empty blaze burners. Because I don't only want to make a new steam engine, I want to ensure that this can power basically everything. So I need 36 of these. And what 36 of these blaze burners will allow me to do is to create four level nine steam engines. And in the last episode, yeah, I used all of my copper supply for the second time. So let's go ahead and equip our back tank and diving set and go for another mining session. Hopefully this is enough copper. Almost done with the material gathering here. Last thing we need is a few anti alloys. And do I have gold? Oh, okay. I just have enough. With those into gold sheets here, let's craft up 36 blocks of copper and 36 steam engine. And yep, yeah, here it is. And I can actually leave this running because I want to build it right to the side of this. However, I can't leave this villager house here because it's 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 right in the middle of the way. Let's just take away the top layer of terrain right here. First thing I want to get in here is definitely the floor. On each of these corners here, I want to start bringing in a few stairs, which we can run around, making this into one squared platform. And then you just love the look of a cheese. In the big holes here, let's add in some of our blaze burners. In the middle here, let's get some depots all around with funnels set to input on these sides. And now we're going to pick all of these with our mechanical arms. This is also going to be an input and this is going to be the taking point. With all of those mechanical arm settings copied to the other three corners, I pop down below to hook it all up. On the overside here, let's extend up three, four, five, six fluid tanks with a fluid pipe on top. Then going out from this, I want... Oh, like I was saying, going out from this, I want one on that side and a pump on this side. Which is going to go up one more block, then it's going to go to the side, down, and into a spout. Then I also want to take these out one more block on either side and slap a red valve on that. And this right here is our lava setup, which right above this, I want to bring in some metal girders. Which, well, it's also flying, but we can add in some metal brackets to pipes, which is something I've just recently learned. Why I haven't thought about even trying this before, it's beyond me. But it looks really, really cool. Final little detail down here is going to be some of these lining this off, just as a small little barrier. And we're going to put some polished anisite in that. Grabbing up our fluid tanks, let's start extending those up. Which on top, of course, getting in our steam engines. Finishing these off with some shafts, of course. Let's get a belt in between those right there, just because a belt looks really good connecting up these. And we're also going to poke some holes in these and extend some shafts across here, connecting these up. Finally, the thing, having a few cogs here in the middle and a gearbox. And that will have to connect from above eventually. They don't want it on these lines because these are the steam engines and the steam engines need lava to work. So if it somehow turns off, I want it to be able to turn itself on again. Being down here, even without walls and everything, it looks really, really cool. But it has one major issue and uh, I, I, I don't have any lava. And well, I don't think one of these are going to cut it. So they didn't want to say infinite lava pool yes now for this lava i got a little bit excited on the stream the other day and i went ahead and made a few mechanical drills about 400 to be exact with all of these drills i also need an anisite casing and a block of wool to craft a rope pulley and i guess i could take the power from the steam engine so i don't need a windmill a few barrels might honestly be a smart move as i have a feeling i'm going to be mining a lot of blocks but that is really it but i gotta head over here to the string factory real quick to get a little bit of XP for my tools. 
And then with our tools all repaired, let's get to digging. Preparing the area straight below the steam engines for our infinite lava pool. It was quite a big area, but this is a 20 by 20, which means 400 drills, which is what I have. Now I just have to figure out how I'm going to place these. Can I do... Can I do this? I can. Well, maybe this won't be too bad. And the final few mechanical drills, and yeah, it looks a little weird, but it's pretty cool. And now I think going off in this corner would be smartest. Yep, 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 I am correct. As we can pull out our rope, please. Oh, and the barrels. Can't forget about the barrels. I'm gonna just place those in a row right over here. Quickly run some glue over all of this. I hope I can glue it all in one, because that would... Okay, I can. We're just gonna have to go from there. And finally, the barrels. Perfect. Now, if we go to this corner here, and we place that right there and I have the box on me perfect let's get ourselves a gearbox and let's hook that up and it sounds like it's going <gasps> oh oh that's so awesome this is so cool why have we not made one of these before okay I've stopped it it's gone down so far already let's see if we try this corner here what level are we on 75 that's the one I want to be on perfect now I just have to nuke all of these and I'm gonna have so many mechanical drills over after this and uh yeah we <laughs> We got a little bit of cobblestone here. And um, I'm not sure if it's even worth saving that. Because getting it out of here is just going to be a hassle. So we're just going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's that's for the better. And the good thing about a post rope pulley is that you can climb up it. And I, 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 I can escape. Escape the cobblestone. Oh, God. I want to make a bit of copper scaffolding here. As I think it's going to fit the vibe. I also need to make one of these. A hose pulley. Which is very, very simple to craft. And this is what's actually going to be filling it. I'm also going to craft a bunch of more fluid tanks. I was going to use that as a smaller bucket. Buffer, but actually I'm gonna just save that for another thing. So let's take our copper scaffolding here and do a ring around the top here. And the scaffolding going straight through the middle. Add in our hose pulley right here. Let's just pull some power to that from this side. And I've got to be completely honest here. I've got no idea what I'm doing and I'm just gonna pray that this works. And can I, like, change the mode of this somehow? I, th I think that's what we want. I actually got no clue what I'm up to. Oh, I'm so lost. Luckily, I have a bunch of extra terrain controls and stuff here. And a few tracks, at least. This might not be enough. I also did this little track here, which is very, very temporary. But I need to get a train over from my lava farm over up to the mountain where I can put it in the infinite lava pool. You can see right here. I think it's even, yeah, it's even missing a few tracks back over here. We've connected it up all the way over to the storage house, at least. This is going to be something very, very temporary, but it's going to work. Getting our fluid tank in here at the back. And why not a few extra fluid tanks here to decorate the front? It looks lovely. Look at this beautiful train. I'm going to add in a second train controls here for a future little blaze burner to sit here and control it. For the exporting here, where do we do that? Because it doesn't have to be super, super aesthetic so I can just put it at the back well not in through the back I guess there and one of those there getting a pump in right here Two shafts connecting these two up and that looks to be working yeah it's pumping lava all the way over here now all I would need to do is I'm gonna go get the base burner place him right in there and then we can assemble attach at least one forward facing train controls block oh glue I am very smart and I definitely don't forget the the most important things Assemble train, lava express. Is that, oh, yep, they're filling up the tanks, perfect. I'm gonna let this work on that because I've gotta try to connect this up to the lava pool area. Another small little temporary train here, but hopefully this is able to clear the tunnel out without breaking my storage building, preferably. Looks like it. Yes, looks like this is going to be sufficient enough for breaking the tunnel. All right, taking off with the train's first trip here. Hopefully the path is sufficient and I might actually fall out of it now that I realize. I'm just going to take it a little slower, a little slower. Oh, I'm standing inside of the blaze burner. Okay, 
Yeah, that, that, I, I thought that was gonna happen. Oh, what if I just stand like here? I mean, it's kind of working. It actually worked. Oh my God, how I did not die there. It's a miracle. And oh, ooh, ooh. I'm just gonna wanna back you up that little bit and our portable interface are on this side. And now do you hook all of this up? <gasps> Wait, it's working? Oh God, it's working so well. <gasps> Wait, I was not prepared for this to work. <gasps> That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, please fill the full bottom layer. It's 400 buckets and I don't think the train has the 400 bucket capacity. Yep, seems like it's empty, but the lava isn't flowing, so I think that's good. Now to set up a train schedule. Travel to station, lava farm. Okay, it's leaving the station. Let's see if we can meet it down at the lava factory. And honestly, that is so cool. Oh, this is hyping me up because if you didn't know it, next episode is going to be a full-on train episode, which means there's going to be a lot of that happening, especially in the area right behind me because I'm going to be building a train yard. And if you don't want to miss that, it's also going to be a world download so you should definitely consider subscribing okay are we filling up a lava again yes we are and i presume it's gonna start filling the second layer as it's done with this one all right i'm gonna check back on that in just a little bit but i want to get working on some other things while that hopefully fills up now we have to start encasing this steam factory oh no to future self don't find a light and look at yourself no 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 but like i was saying to start encasing this i need to do some block gathering and our first stop when it comes to that will definitely be the lumber mill as I need to grab up some mangrove, jungle, and warped wood. A steam power plant also needs a bunch of bricks, which I already have, thanks to all of the villagers. We can keep three of these stacks as normal bricks, then heading over to the mason table here. Let's turn another three into etched bricks. We also, not that full third stack there, as we need some flat bricks as well. I also, for some reason, want to make the roof out of cast iron, and I'm slightly running out of it. So, taking a little bit of coal, throwing that in that blaze burner, and then some blocks of iron in no that, that that's a that's a mixture stamp i mean this place burner there we go that should end up over here making some more cast iron for us while we wait for that i did actually notice i need i need a few more bricks so some more emeralds turn into even more bricks and why is there one missing what oh no that is weird. However, with the cast iron we now have, we need to turn... I'm gonna go ahead and turn all of this into sheet metal. And even this won't be enough, I don't think. I need seven stacks and a bit of slabs. Yep, we're gonna need to make some more. Let's place all of these down and eagerly starting this build off. I wanted to start with creating a foundation with our cobblestone mix before starting a train platform to house a future train. Now, before we can continue building, I, I, I need to dismantle this. You've helped out an okay amount. You're free, B. You can finally move her out. But you could just get stuck instantly again. Works too. And then... You can't even make that up. Moving on from the tragic death of that bee. I want to start encasing our steam engines and using a brick mix to do that. On top of this brick here, once we are above the steam engines, I want to come in with some mud. The mud up there is to give us a little bit of border because I do want to extend the brick up a little more, but I will do that in just a little bit. As I want to come down to what is going to be a lower part of the building to start adding in a white mix of blocks. Grabbing our warp board here, let's start adding that in on the short sides. Leaving this block as I want to come in with some support in front of this block just because I don't want the warp visible from the long side, aka th that one. So we're going to have to get a little bit creative here and the supports are perfect for this. Because this allows us to come in with our jungle on this side. Stretch that across before extending in the warped again. And take it a few jungle planks above this. Extending our jungle up just that little bit extra to get a very nice kind of rounded off shape. I already want to start with a few simple details. Going back to my favorite lantern trick here with some metal brackets. Hanging those down just like that. Before I want to come in with a display board. And this is actually the first time I'm using a display board in this world. Which we need to power through this little hole up here. And let's see a shaft on that. Up, uh, uh. 
There we go. Also, a few more details just above this for the window as well. And this side is going to be quite cool. But right now, it's not cool enough. So, a few birch fences on these. There's a redstone contact at the bottom here as I'm addicted to this block. And then we get some servers over here. We get some servers all the way up here. And can I place... No, I don't... Wait, I do want to place those like that. No, do I? No, I want to place these just like this. And a few more observers up top. While we are in the area, we might as well finish off this little loading dock here adding in a few brick walls and then using some coal for decoration and well the idea is that the coal is what's going to be powering the steam engines it, it, actually it's lava but for the lure we could say it's coal sounds good right now the walls i've built up are unconnected so going ahead and filling in the area in between with some mangrove before extending in a roof using the cast iron over the warped and jungle mix shoot up this way one more on top of that going sideways we can get a trapped on top of there let's have it go one more sideways and then one more shoot just like that for a little bit of decoration on that fly it above the newly built i really really like this roof i like the little hint of blue here at the top and i also really like the use of copper where i wanted it to kind of be rust and like honestly a rust block iron rusting just like copper does i i i would not complain but i think the copper works pretty good as rust and um i i don't have all the materials yet so i'm gonna address the holes later on the front of the brick building i left these big open areas and of course we gotta fill them with some windows. On the smaller windows here, let's grab some andesite ladders and place those down. This side as well, of course. I don't want it up there. Then I want to take some limestone and copy cap steps and make it a little order at the bottom, which looks really, really nice in my opinion. Then extending our scaffolding up a few more blocks, specifically up to the mud here. I do want to start bringing in a shaft going from the side here. And we'll end that off two blocks from the end on each side and cap it off with a valve. Because I am starting to like these valves. They're very cool yep definitely satisfied with that but let's go ahead and get that shaft valve combo done on the two other sides preparing that little bit here for the future where i want to bring in a little bit of mud still really really love this rough mud texture on this side let's start adding that in two blocks down some stairs oh that's the wrong way stairs like that and then into the ground as some sort of like a vent jumping into the inside i want to start adding in a few create components to eventually get the steam power plant running Now I've got all that hooked up, except this little bit over here, so shaft leading in from there. And well, yeah, we need to power all of the water things, and that's what we're going to be doing over here. Let's see, a whole bunch of gear boxes, which I, I need to flip to the upstate. And on the side as- okay, well, I forgot it again. I need to do it this. Then in between here, taking our windmill bearings. I mean, yeah, we're making another wool blob. I had to. The steam plant needed like 7,500 SU, and like, I'm not about to get that with water wheels water wheels suck they look really good but they're also really bad and to connect all of these some shafts and we're gonna do shafts on all of these because well we need the rotation power from them and on these right over here okay, why are you the wrong way oh actually because i don't need one there perfect we're gonna run a belt from that one to that one and this one to this one and then one there to there and then we do one more belt right over here to connect the three as well so we get all this before we can take a gearbox right here to connect it up now we just need to take away a little bit more terrain below these as i do want to add in a wood eight blocks down here we need to start adding in our glue well our wool first and then we can take our glue on these and this one will set up i've seen used by the jojo and it's a really nice one because it's not just one giant spinning blob it's multiple and uh, i don't really know why it's nice Final two pieces of glue, just like that. Perfect. Now those windmills aren't quite enough to power it, so some water wheels here on the side as well, which is going to be nice with a little bit of river and maybe a small lake up here, but I'll do that tire forming a little bit later. Because I actually want a small river running down here next to this steam engine power plant and into a bigger reservoir slash lake down here later. I'm really, really excited for that tire forming project. But yeah, uh, overstressed because I haven't turned on the windmills and I don't want the steam engines to start just yet because they are so, so loud. And then uh, I'd rather build in peace. Now with the majority of the steam power plant done, I want to take a little bit of a break from building. Because I've recently been experiencing a bunch of lag in my world. 
So what I want to do for the second part of the steam power plant is add a control room where I essentially can control all of the farms inside of my world and turn them on and off. And I might have been a little lazy or dumb when designing my farms as most of them don't have on and off switches. So we have to install those and probably make a few other small changes to certain farms to add some buffers and all of that jazz. But luckily, I think we have, yeah, 17 redstone links. That should do us. And I think we should start from episode one and work our way up to episode eight. And well, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove this because uh, I don't use it and uh, it, it's, it's no need to have it. Next one is going to be super, super simple here, which is going to be our iron farm with a clutch right here and one over here. We can now turn this on and off. Leave my storage building. This is one of the areas I definitely want to improve because I actually have clutches prepared for every single tree farm. I just don't have any way of turning them on and off. I'm going to make some threshold switches to self-regulate that. As we break the roof here and hop down and remove some mangrove support, we can add a super, super simple self-regulation here. We can look all down into these redstone link on top of these and on the side of this one i guess oh well that is an issue that i did not think about a little dirty but a functional fix so i just have to get down here here to all of the clutches of these, the redstone one of those, and our thingies, and switch it to that. Now it's off. We're running around to all of the other ones and placing in the switches for them. Now these two, I don't know how to stop. Actually, I've got an idea. If I replace this lever, remove that, will it stop? It will. Okay. Then all I need is a redstone link instead with button and dark oak. Turn that on. That's going to turn on now because I need to go inverse the signal. Now I never think I'm going to have enough mangrove. I did actually fix the mangrove farm, but I don't think I'll ever have enough. But I'll add in the switch nonetheless. Perfect. Most of the farms should be stopped now. That's amazing. Just got to add in one for the whole farm. Perfect. Quickly getting the hang of this now, I just had to run around to all of the other factories to hook up some on and off switches. Now I think I've got around to all of the farms. There's one more thing I would like to do though, and that is to add them to train stations as well so I can stop trains because trains uh, are loud and they probably also could be laggy. Right, you don't even need a redstone link. I forgot about that. Just simple like that should be it. Link of train casing redstone dust. Perfect. And the same for our second train. Now I gathered up mostly everything before and I just went on a mining spree on my stream and have a bunch of copper because well I need about eight stacks of fluid tanks yeah and I definitely do not have enough of wood for those barrels in my storage room so we've got to use this one this will create six stacks of slabs and that's another six and then turning all of these into barrels very very slowly as I might have I have a few too many slabs maybe <laughs> that's a lot of barrels very very nice and I even made an extra stack okay nice I'm keeping that because you can never really get enough barrels Another thing I did on my stream, as I knew I needed to craft a bunch of fluid tanks, is I prepared a little machine. Because my one metal press is just a little slow, so I built one with three down here instead. So I can just throw copper in here, and this is gonna take less time. While that is working away downstairs, I need a few anisite casing and some shafts. I actually misremembered that I do not need anisite casing. I just need a little bit of stone, and I can craft windmill bearings. And I definitely won't be making any blobs of wool underground. No, why would I? I also need to take some electron tubes and for the first time in my create career, make a few display boards. And taking a brass casing in here, I can go ahead and make a dried kelp block. And then that in the middle, iron sheet at the bottom and a brass casing will make me an elevator pulley. And I, I still haven't made an elevator in create and I, I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Now are these done yet? It does not look like it. They've done a few, so we should be able to craft up a couple of fluid tanks here. And just short. Okay. And this should be the final fluid tanks. Perfect. With the final components crafted up for this build, getting straight back to it, adding in three tanks on the side. Switching back to the main building, I want to finish off this brick part that we started earlier. On top of a few spruce supports here, we can start extending in a roof on top of this, of course. Incorporating our rust as well, or well, copper, and bringing this up together. Thank you. 
Now I haven't fully connected these as I do want to come in with another building up here. Or well, I guess it's the same building, but it's a different part of the building. And I promise these will be the last walls added to this building as I want to add in a small little mangrove top to this. Topping these two new wall bits here with a couple of roofs. With the shape now in for this whole building, I just need to detail the areas we've just built. One final detail here on the outside now, another drainage pipe, right? Oh god, I hope I'm not wrong in that. Connected that up to the wall, a chute, and some more fences. Actually, lie, there's one more thing I want to add in here, and that's two giant chimneys. And this is ma the majority of those flue tanks we made earlier. Um, they're, they're being used for decorational purposes. Take away two in the middle here, add in a hay bale and a campfire on top of that because that's going to go further. A few more campfires to support that and then we can round this up with a few copper trap doors. And well, yeah, I have another hole here because, well, I, I, I want to add in a second one. Yep. Yep, that's just what this build needed. No, it's actually looking kind of like a power plant. Although, if we head inside, um, it hasn't seen better days, but we need to fix this. I'm currently doing interiors and builds. I don't know why, but I, I like them, so we're gonna continue. But first, I've gotta check up on how our train is doing filling the lava pool under here. Oh, um, it, 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 it hasn't gone very far. I, I don't think this is working. So, we're gonna have to combat this in a new way, and I don't want to use this train anymore. So I've gone ahead and prepped a few materials. So let's watch this schematic cannon do its work and build us an amazing train. And it's a beauty. Before we can get it on the track though, I want to clean this up right over here as we won't be using this method anymore because it, it, it wasn't working. And I, that means I also need to retrieve schedule. Okay, perfect. Because um, this is a train. I, I, I don't want this one anymore. You can all go into my pocket again. Like I said, this one was really only temporary. It was pretty, pretty ugly. And as a bonus, we get a train station over which we can plug this train into just like that and create a new train perfect and assemble front most boogie must be at station marker oh create new train five bogies assemble train perfect lava express oh yeah it's a beauty now we just need to get it onto the track and i want it to face this direction perfect in here it's a little cramped but there will be a blaze burner controlling this i won't be the one but it moves Perfect, so that we can get it on the main line. Now if we back up, we should... Yes, perfect. We're traversing at um, full capacity here. I might hit my head on a few things here. Nope, it looks like we're good. This is very realistic and it definitely fits, yeah. Oh, the, the, the plows are doing things with the terrain. Uh-oh, okay. Uh... Okay, we're good. Are these now aligned? If I could just... If I could just see in there... Yes, it looks like they're extended. Okay. And yeah, here is the janky setup I just set up on a stream where we have our train being filled by lava and it goes through the portal and this should hopefully... Ah! Ah! This should hopefully fill up the lava pool. And well, while we wait for that, I think it's time that we tackle the inside. As um, I mentioned it earlier, we need a control room and I want it to be above the steam engine. And hopefully that will fill up because I, I, I need power to my storage room. <laughs> and with the shape looking quite rough at the top of the steam power plant, I had to get my spruce out and spruce it up a little bit. With it tidied up here, let's get some dark oak wood for a bench stretching across right here. And on the back, I want to grab some grey placards and our nice redstone lamps. As on every other one right here, we can place these in. And on those two, where I've left a little gap in the roof, as we can add in our redstone lamps in that gap. On the side, I need both the slabs and the redstone lamps. 
Perfect. Then grabbing a few levers, we can place those right here. And you might have seen that there were holes in the floor. And that's because I need to add a redstone link at the bottom there. Because flipping one of these is going to power this. And say this is the iron mine. It's also going to unpower the iron mine. And will hopefully save me from lag. I've got a good idea on how we're going to get up here soon. But I need to add in a few trap doors right here. As um, the spinning gears seem a little dangerous. And um, don't mind that that's clipping through. Moving ourselves up one more floor. I want to turn this into some sort of planning room. So more dark oak tables stretching along this side right here. In the corners, we can get some flower pots. Well, big flower pots as I want some leaves on top of these. And a small little sign on the bed there so we can go for a nap. We can get a quick railing in right over here. And a few flower pots in the corners. And I've got something really, really nice that I want to put up here on these. You might be able to guess what it is, but I'm going to get back to that towards the end of the episode. Because right now, I need to turn my attention to the middle here. We've got a 3x3 three three going all the way down there, which I need to fix. Because coming up all the way here, I want to use a create mechanic I haven't used yet. And that is an elevator. This also needs power, which we can do super simple with a gearbox. And just a couple of shafts. For the elevator itself, we can do a metal girder going out on both sides and down two blocks. On this we can place our cobble deep state slabs and extend in a little bit of a platform. And finally a contraption controller that's facing the wrong way. There we go. We also need a redstone contact right here so it actually works as an elevator. Now can I turn this into an elevator right now or do you need power? Of course you need power. Okay it will just have to stay there then. Now before we go and check on our lava train this also needs a little bit of work. So what I want to do is come in with some redstone contacts right here and some strip dark oak on top of that and voila door it's done. Okay I lied. I actually want to make this door work which we can do with a little bit of wood right here. A redstone link below here, a redstone contact and some vertical spruce planks I guess and place the back. We're gonna do our mechanical bearings right here. Shafts going up to the top of the door. Encase this one. And some brackets to hold onto the door. Pop it down here. We can add in our sequence gear shift. A gearbox right there. One over here. Here I want to place a rotation speed controller with a cog in it. Some shafts connecting all of this. And finally another redstone controller. No link. Door won't work at the moment as well there's no power to it but we can add in the spruce surrounding it. And I almost forgot we need a button right there and one on the outside right there. Now let's hop down here and check on how our train has been doing. It's not here right now but the lava sure is. It's not even got a layer left. Oh there it is. Oh. oh. Yes. And will you finish filling it up? It should. I'm actually going to go ahead and join the train schedule as I think it's going to fill up now and I don't want to go back into the nether. It's on the final stretches now. Once the corners gets filled in here. It's a bottleless supply. Yes. C can't you fill the last one? Hello? There's one. Fine, I guess I'll do it myself. And yes, it's working. The lava is everywhere. We just... Oh, right. We need to grab four buckets. And if we place these here, the steam engines should power up. Yep, it looks like they are. And they're powering the blaze burners. Perfect. Oh, this is starting to look so awesome. Oh, this has been so much work and it's finally coming together. And oh, I've, I've not put the bucket filters on these. So they're just continuously grabbing them. Which, no, we do not want that. There we go. And now they're all generating 150,000. Which means if we look out here, total remaining. Oh, yes. I need to quickly hop down to the storage room now. It's still not powered, but it does need to be powered for this. As all I need is a name tag, which I really should have. Yes. Let's name this Steam Power Plant. As my friend Skeesh taught me, I can just click that right there. And oh, that's amazing. And it didn't even use the name tag. I also want to give this a little bit of color here with some orange on the top one, some red on the bottom, and some green in the middle. There we go. And we're using 300. Oh, this is amazing. I need, I need to hook it up now. Now, this is the output. Wait, no, it's not bottomless. Uh oh. Hello? That's bad. Why? How did it stop being bottomless? That should be everything powered again. Perfect. But I need to go and get a little more lava. Because, well, it's not infinite anymore. Now I'm just chilling here at the bottom of the lava pit, extending in it a little bit. Hopefully, this will make it infinite. And, um, I looked up. The hose was at the top. And well, if you haven't done one of these before, it has to be at the bottom to be infinite. So that, that, that's why it wasn't infinite. Yeah. <sighs>
but I might as well extend it now. With the lava actually filled up now and fully working, I pop outside of the steam factory to prepare a little bit of terrain around the front. And I really, really like this little pond I added in up here. Well, I need to add in a few more vegetation around, but I also don't really know what I want to do over here. So for now, I'm just going to leave that a little bare. But what I have done is add in the tracks here and we need to get the train because right now our train is sitting right here and I, I, I need to get it up there. And oh, I was going to go and make more train tracks but i already have a plenty right here we can go ahead and tear down this portal and now i'm just gonna take this track here and get it up on the hill that looks so crazy if you want a small create tip that i got from uber yesterday you can turn up the max length that you can place train tracks up to 128 blocks i have it at 64 which allows me to create some cooler corners and slopes and connecting it up right there perfect now this is a very temporary track as you can see by it flying but jumping on board our train we can take it around the track and still get up there and oh it's gonna be facing the wrong way. Yeah, I have to fix that in just a second. Oh, I'm sorry, horses. Yeah, it's facing the wrong way. Uh oh, that's fine. Okay, there we go. Now, if we go back this up, this should turn around and be the same route. Oh my god, I thought it went off the edge. I'm sorry, animals, but um, you're in the way. All right, slow it down, slow it down around the final bend. Perfect. We might as well recycle the train station we don't have down here. Now, I have to line this up with the back one which i'm gonna try there as trains are a little finicky to get into the right position but let's see where this is at okay no we need one block forward we park in the train yep that's where i want it but for now i don't want the train in the station as we need to do a few small decorations and i also don't want to run out of track yeah that, that that's that's how far we get is that enough yes that should give me enough room and i'm not out of time to gather all the materials but i do have a few which is two polished deep slate then we get some metal girders not like that we get metal girders like that. Cast iron trapdoors on the back right here. Metal girders sticking out and then some valves on those. Perfect. So that's a little train stop so that we don't run off the track even though this one doesn't have the connecting thingy big big bobs. Words. Now I'm not missing many blocks. I'm just missing a few wooden ones and the specific wood type I'm missing a bunch of is oak so I just need to craft that up. So now the first thing I want to do here is that I want to allow the steam power plant to export lava as well. So let's take our oak beams and extend those up. And we're going to extend another one up right over here. On top of these, we can grab some oak slabs, flip these upside down, we'll place some support in between them, just like this. To take ourselves from here and back over into the wall, we use some oak palisades. And I'm going to have to remove one of our facades right there to connect it. On top of these, I want to come in with some oak seats and place those as just like a little small air gap that you get. Right there, you can see it. Also, I want to take that across right here and over here. While we are up here, we might as well prep and extend this out from the wall. I can't stand on that, hmm. but I can stand over here. Flip those down and make them a little wider. From these, I want to bring out some pipes from our wall eventually. And then we put down that right there, which means we can load the train with lava. And since we don't want it to be flying, we can also bracket up that. Perfect. This whole oak support thing isn't very supported. So using some palisades and fences to give it that missing structure. Perfect. That's looking a lot more supported now. Don't, don't mind the fact that it's exporting lava and we're doing that using wood. Uh, it's fine. A few more decorational barrels here in the back. You can even get a chest right over here and maybe a little bit of scaffolding. I also want to move the train signal here to right over here so we can just hide it there and yeah that doesn't show. Power in power plant. We should now be able to park up the train. Step out of it and yep that lines up. Perfect. This is a small issue. Um <laughs> you can't get over the train when when the train is here but I guess that's fine because you only really need it when it's not here. Oh. Well, that, that, that was buggy, but it worked. I'm now closing in on that 1,000 days. And wanting to wrap this project up, I decided to continue the river down a bit more to tie this build into the landscape a little more. Now, this river looks really, really good, but it has a slight issue. I, I broke the path. So with a few blocks here, let's repair and make some sort of a little bridge. Now, I do have to admit, it's a little scuffed bridge, but for freehanding a bridge, I'm actually quite happy with it. And like, it, it does the work, while also not looking too bad. Also, while building that river, I uh, I might have gone ahead and passed day 1000. Woo! There was one more thing I did say I wanted to do in today's episode, though. So, grabbing some iron and redstone here. Let's make eight compasses. I also need eight glass panes. And if we go ahead and fly over to the farming district, still absolutely love 
how this area turned out looking. And just grab a little bit of sugarcane, make that into paper, and then we can make eight maps. Perfect. Now also, let's just check out add and set up the thing. Oops, 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 oops. I broke my door. Let's just close that. That's what it's supposed to do is go input speed this way and then turn by angle and it's going to go backwards. But it's going to do that after it wait new red samples. Perfect. Now, if I press this button, it should open inwards instead. Yeah, that, that's what it went, was meant to do. I also went ahead and did all of the boring hooking up stuff up here. And I can now turn on and off every farm I have in the world. But heading up one more floor, I oh, ooh, I need to clean up my mess. But I do have a cartographer's table here. So if we create a map, yes, this is the map I want. Then we put a glass pane where that locks it. Oh, wait, I'm doing this wrong. It's paper. There we go. Now this one should be the corner. Perfect. So if we just step forward, grab another one and do the same with this one. I've got my four maps now here and you're about to see something very, very cool. I've just got to go and load them. Now if we grab a few item frames, place them here. And if we get to so that one's going to be right there. This one's going to be that one. Nope. That one's going to be there. And this one's going to be here. If you look at this, four maps scaled out once perfectly encases the entire island, which is so awesome because I absolutely love in-game maps. Maps. Oh, this is just so nice to see. But I want to make a duplicate of this, which will need the maps back. And one of these, I want a lock. So these are my locked ones, which we can go ahead and add in just like that. And that's going to be around day 1000. Which, do I have any wood up here? I have one here. Because I think we should make a sign and say day 1000. And then we'll come back and update these maps at some point in the future. And honestly, that's probably going to be towards when I end this world. Because I, I do have some plans on when I'm going to end this world. I'm not going to announce those yet. But just know it's not going to be the end of create because I've got a bigger and even better than this world plan. But with those maps finished up in the top, this build is completed. I finally have a reliable source of SU for my entire island. And if I might say, the building as well turned out absolutely amazing. Probably one of my favorite builds I've ever done. So thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.